Karen from the Deltona Regional Library of the Volusia County Public Library. Today, we are going to talk all about washing our dirty dishes. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do, of course, is to go to your sink and bring all of your dirty dishes with you. Here are my dishes. Now, it's very important to make sure that there's nothing electrical plugged in near where you're going to put water. So you'll notice my toaster oven is plugged in. Let's unplug it and move it away. The first thing we're going to do is put our dirty dishes into the sink. We're going to turn on our water and make it hot, but not too hot so that you burn your hands. And then we're going to take our sponge, here's our sponge, put a little bit of dish soap, just a little, and get it wet. And one at a time, we're going to scrub our dishes, both sides, making sure that we get all of the food particles off. And then we're going to rinse each dish thoroughly to get all the soap and make sure we get all of the food particles off. Now, shake the dish a little to get the water off and put it to the side on a towel or in a dish rack to dry. Next. You want to be careful when you're washing different dishes. For example, knives. Always be careful when you wash a knife. Notice how I have the sharp side down. That's the way I'm going to hold it. And I'm going to wash both sides. And then we're going to rinse it. I'm never going to touch the blade with my hand. Glasses sometimes can break, especially in the sink with other dishes. So you always want to be very gentle with a glass. And one important thing is that people drink out of the rim. That's where your mouth goes. You want to make sure that that's what you scrub, as well as the entire glass. So let's rinse all our dishes. And then let's put them to the side to dry. And that's how you wash your dishes.